this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums and I want to show you another set of cards I made using the January 2022 sheet load of cards. For those new to the sheet load of cards, this is made by Alicia from the Call Me Crafty L YouTube channel. She designs a sketch and supply list and cutting guide each month that you can get if you go to uh, check out the video in the description box. She'll tell you how you can download your own sheet load. So it's pretty much a cutting guide and I've used it to make cards already this month, but I needed a couple extra cards for some special birthdays coming up. I had in my stash these two papers and I also had this Sizzix Thinlets die set, uh, which has cakes and cupcakes and ice cream cones. And I made some ice cream cones to go along with this paper. I actually painted on plain cardstock um, some swatches of turquoise, yellow, and pink, and then some for the cherry on top. And then once I got all that together, I realized I needed one more piece of cardstock to match along with this. And I tried using some plain cardstock, but it just didn't give the oomph that I needed. I could have used an embossing folder, but I decided just to paint some because I have paints and I can do that. So let me show you how I made the extra paper to go along with this. Okay, so I'm taking a look at the paper I have and I'm adding some paint from my stash, some inexpensive watercolor, and I just needed that pink, so I used some acrylic and just added some water to it mixed a touch of red just to make sure it matches and adding a bunch of water to give it that watercolory flow look. I'm using a round brush. It's a number eight. It's pretty big. Now I want to make sure that my lines are straight. So I put the paper down and I just go simply across the paper, trying to keep it as straight as possible. I can't draw a straight line to save my life. So I need tricks like this. So just going to go across uh, every inch and a half with the pink. I'm not worried about the starting and stopping because I'm going to cut this down. So I've used up almost all of the pink. And now I'm going to mix the yellow. Um, I want it to be a pale yellow, but I think I got it a little too pale. So I'm trying it to see how it looks and I know there's a glare on it and I look at this sample and I think yeah it needs to be a little darker yellow so I quickly add some more yellow paint and go over what I just did and that's that's the color I'm looking for so I'm just going about a quarter of an inch away from the pink and just following the lines I'm sorry one more below the camera but no big deal. You get the idea. And now I'm trying to get that turquoisey blue. Um, it's not the easiest color to replicate. Now I find I need a little more greenish, so I add some yellow to it. And it's close enough. It's, it's close to the color. Add some water to it. Try to like rotate the brush so it stays flat. And that's it. It's not perfect. But it's the look I was going for. And once I cut it up and put it in the cards, you won't know that I did not purchase paper to match it. So let me show you what I ended up with. And here are the cards that I made. Do you see the painted uh, paper? I mean, if you didn't know it was painted, you would think it matches really well. So there is the finished card and there is the painted paper to go along with this, um, the matching paper. So I just wanted to show you that even if you don't have paper in your stash, don't let that keep you from making something else to go along with it. That is what I have for you today. As I said, you can go ahead and download the sketch and supply list from the Call Me Crafty L YouTube channel. It is linked in the description box, as well as the original card I made and another card that I made using um, paper that I designed myself. I live and travel and craft in my RV, and sometimes we are just 
too far away to go run to go get a piece of paper to match what I have. So I just have to be a little creative and I have fun doing it. So thank you again for watching. Have a fabulous day.